While the world's eyes were still on the fallout of the Vietnam War, the Khmer Rouge carried out a radical society reform program from 1975 to 1979. This program included isolating Cambodia from foreign influence, closing schools, hospitals and factories, abolishing banking, finance and currency, outlawing all religions, confiscating all private property, and relocating people from urban areas to collective farms, all for the sake of returning Cambodia to its ancient glory. The purpose of this policy was to cleanse the country of outside influences and create a purely agrarian-based communist society in one generation. These actions resulted in massive deaths in schools turned prisons and in their killing fields through pickaxe executions, work exhaustion, disease, and starvation. About two million Cambodians are estimated to have died horribly and needlessly in these five genocidal years of murder, torture, and starvation, aimed particularly at teachers, the educated, and intellectual elite. Today, some 32 years after the fall of the Khmer Rouge, their fallout remains. Over 30% of Cambodia's population is under age 14 and uneducated. Nearly all of these post-genocidal era children work or beg in the streets rather than attend school. Without proper education, this cycle of poverty cannot be broken, and the suffering merely gets passed from generation to generation. In 1998, one woman, Paniri Lee, a teacher who miraculously survived the Khmer Rouge regime, started a project to get rural children back to school and help them stay there. Since its inception, the Paniri Lee Foundation has put well over 2,000 Cambodian children through school, continues to modernize many facilities, and attracts visiting instructors from all over the globe. Wowie, an American nonprofit organization, needs your help in assisting Paniri Lee with boots on the ground support. We are seeking donations to cover the cost to send a skilled team of American University students and digital media industry professionals to Siem Reap, Cambodia. For two weeks, this team will train the students of the Paniri Lee Foundation's J School. They will also take along and install equipment, much of which will remain behind with the students. During the team's 14 days in Cambodia, J students will be exposed to different methods of digital media creation from high-end documentation and imaging of the Angkor Wat temple area to social media and global networking. In the spirit of teaching a man to fish, that is, in the spirit of fostering of independence and self-reliance, Wowie intends that Cambodians will eventually have sovereign control over both this type of local training and of the digital media representation of Cambodia to the rest of the world. As a donor, Wowie rewards you with virtual tiles, or my tiles, that are user designed and placed on the life wall. Another development by the Wowie team, the life wall, is a very large virtual wall that will be viewable on the internet and on large displays at live venues by mid-2012. Life wall is a way to celebrate the generosity of individuals. It's also a way of looking at the world. Walls usually separate. Life wall brings together. Please help us reach our goal to help Paniri Lee, Cambodia's emerging school system, and its students by donating to the Angkor Wat Digital School Project on CrowdRise.com today. Then, reserve your MyTile at WowieAustin.org.